We spent $300 for this? Hey, welcome back to Wicked Smart Golf. My name is Michael Leonard and in today's video we are going to do the first course review of quite frankly one of the best golf courses on the planet. Now it might not be as famous as Pebble Beach or Spyglass or Bethpage Black or Torrey Pines. The Cavera Golf Club in Cabo San Lucas is one of the best golf courses and probably the most fun time I've ever had playing golf. So in today's video, I wanna show you exactly what it's like because when I went in 2020 and 2021, I took so many videos not even knowing I was gonna start this channel, but now you get to see exactly what this course is like, why it is worth $300, and why I think it's better than Pebble Beach. Coming up. Hey, welcome to Key Vera. Love this little pro shop right on the beach. Super cool. We went there in the holidays, so they had it all set up. Looked really nice. The practice facility at this place is fantastic. You are literally hitting right next to the ocean. They have unbelievable service there. Guys are cleaning your clubs. You're already drinking. It is a perfect experience. I was feeling loose already here. Just trying to see how long I could hit it because this course is going to be a beast. And uh, it's just so fun. Again, you got these great backdrops. They have a huge putting green, huge bunker. Drinks are already flowing. You can see my dad a little hungover there, but he's bouncing back. And we get to that first hole. Once you have hit that comfort station up, it's time to drive on the beach to the first hole. Uh, pretty straightforward par four. Uh, there is a ditch, so just hit a three wood for position to not run through the fairway and a wedge on the green. All right, the second hole is a great par three. It's a little bit uphill. I think I hit five or six iron. It was playing a little bit long. Um, this one I caught off the toe a little bit, ended up in the bunker, but made some magic. Then I always like to joke with my mom because the tee off she plays are so close to the green. I said, hey, no way, I can definitely throw it here. Trying to get that hole in one, didn't get it either year. But did get a really nice uh, sand shot here. So again, if you're in the right bunker, it's gonna be well below the green. Kind of short side of myself, really thick sand too. Wasn't an ideal position. Uh, hit it pretty good and obviously wasn't drunk yet so that helped uh, and got myself into a good position but you can just see how fast this green is. I mean I barely tap this thing and uh, it just keeps going but was able to lock in that three fist pump. Let's go. Alright next up is the third hole 316 yards a great golf hole farthest away from the ocean. Um, you're hitting over one big bunker if you absolutely nuke one you can definitely get close. Uh, it is a little bit uphill. I have two really good videos here. Uh, obviously, 2020 on the left, 2021 on the right. Hit it pretty well. I think I hit in the bunker both years, uh, but I love the follow through. It's so similar. And I uh, got pretty close, but was able to get that birdie from uh, a good sand shot afterwards in year two. Plus, you just have some great views. I mean, when you're up there, it's just looking back at the ocean. It's just amazing. Sets us up right into the next hole. Par 5, 616 yards. This hole's a beast. You got sand all along the right side. Um, I absolutely nuked it and still could not get there in two. Uh, but it is a great golf hole. Absolutely love it. I don't think it gets a lot of recognition compared to some of the others, but it's a sweet hole. So this is my fourth shot. Uh, got the third a little too good on uh, the wedge. Had to come up. Uh, through some fringe. It's pretty puttable though. You definitely want it. It's kind of sticky so hit a pretty decent putt up there uh, and made five and then this is really where the fun begins. After the par five you have a small commute to the top of the mountain but I promise it's worth it. From here you make a long drive up to the top and then you have the best comfort station view in the world. I mean it is just unbelievable how good the food is. You got a guy with full drinks, full bar, they load your cart up with beer. Unbelievable. You have just these great views right there and then it's time to get to the signature hole. The best hole on the course and the one that's definitely the most famous thanks to Instagram. This is me walking down there <laughs> for the back tees. You got to go way down these steps, but it is super cool and worth it. So once we get up there, we got that drivable par four. You can see it straight ahead. You go left at all like I did the first year. You are in the drink. It's 310 yards. You absolutely have to nuke it and hit it super straight. I pushed it this year because I was terrified. Ended up having this shot in, which actually wasn't that bad. Um, hit it really good, like had obviously a lot of weight on my front foot because it was such a downhill slope. 
Ended up hitting it really good though. Only had like five, six feet left, um, which was really cool to have. And uh, as you can see, just literally in heaven. I mean, this is one of the coolest golf holes you will ever play. Uh, I thought I hit a really good putt here. Um, was just kind of moving a little bit to the right and just hit it, but lift it. Oh, stupid par. Next one though is another great hole. This par three is about 170. Each year I hit really good shots, a seven iron right on the right center of the green. Anything left, you are in the drink. Sadly, we have another video of me missing a putt, but you know what? We did put a good roll on it. Unfortunately, it just didn't really break. All right, we let Lori hit on this hole. Let's see what happens. I want to be like Bryson. Come on. No oh, shit, almost hit Wally. <laughs> oh. All right, next up is the par 4 7th, 409 yards from the tips. It is a great hole. You're, again, right next to the ocean. Um, really love the backdrop they have from the old uh, building there. Absolutely nuked this drive both times I played it. The fairway does slope hard right to left, just as a heads up. Um, ended up giving myself a good look. I mean, look at these views. It would have been great if I could have made a putt for you guys on one of these videos. But I was playing break, apparently, that I saw that didn't exist. But as you can tell, I mean, this course is just in mint condition. All right, the next hole is 399 yards. You are going uphill. It's kind of a split fairway. I hit three wood because it kind of runs out. Hit it really well, actually, both times. You can tell this this place is just majestic. Had a great, uh, great three wood, and uh, I think I had like a wedge or nine iron in. Definitely an uphill shot. Uh, tough. Anything short and right is going to come back down away from you. And you got a little bit of slope, so the green was kind of above me. Hit a pretty good putt here again, just burning edges. Then we are at the magical comfort station. For those of you counting, this is the third comfort station in the first eight holes. As you can tell, got some great sliders. I've had tacos there. They got nuts. They got food, snacks, drinks. Happiest kid alive. Then it's setting you up for a tough ninth hole. I mean, this thing is a beast. 222 yards, playing all of it. I think I hit a four iron both years. That was the first year I hit it pretty good. Second year I hit it even better, but it landed on the front and then rolled all the way off the green. All right, the tenth hole is a great par five. 554 yards, straight downhill. Uh, you can see in the videos here, uh, really, you want to just try and nuke it because it will roll a lot. You're hitting right back at the ocean. It's just a great hole. Second shot is very downhill, but a really fun hole. Should be able to get one back. The 11th is another great one. Uh, 375 yards, but it is straight uphill. And as, I, as you can tell, it looks like I'm aiming at nothing. So you got to hit a good one here. Anything right is dead. Uh, from here, each year I've actually hit it pretty well. Uh, but this second shot is uphill. Should only be a wedge, but again, do not want to be right and short in that bunker. It's a really tough shot. Um, get it up there and make a putt. Then it is time for one of the best holes in golf, the 12th, 635 yard par 5. As you can tell from these drives, nuked it. And let's not forget about my dad's swing. Ooh, oh, just right, perfect. He's feeling good. He's ready. The second shot is straight downhill. I mean, I absolutely nuke driver both times. If you get it down there, it'll roll literally 100 plus yards. I hit driver three wood the first year and it was still like 35 yards short. Um, it's a great shot. I mean, you're hitting right back at the ocean. One of the best views on the entire course right here. I absolutely love this hole. So after the par 5, you have a 148-yard par 3. All carry, anything short is going to hit off the cliff and be in the ocean. So you got to hit a good one. I was a little toasty here, and I hit it real well. I honestly was thinking to myself, this could go in. This could go in. Ended up going just a smidge long. Um, only had about 5, 6 feet here for my birdie putt. Was able to just drain it. Walk it in. Thank you. I'll be here all day. Feeling good at Cavera. All right, we let Lori try again on this par three. Let's see what's going to happen. Is she going to clear it? Well, she got it over the bush. Proud of her. <laughs> yeah, yards. Let's make some magic. 88. Yeah, oh, 
little little wow. tugger. Get it. Oh no, you hit it too far. <laughs> Next hole is only uh, 355, but if you carry it straight at the green, it's only like 280, 290. You really can't hit driver. I hit three wood short and in a terrible spot, so don't recommend being there. Next up is the 15th, 564-yard par 5, another great hole. Fairway slopes hard right to left. Um, you're going to have to hit a couple good ones to get home in two. After you birdie 15, you got a great view here on 16, 493 yards straight downhill. If you're still standing, you also have another comfort station with more food and drinks. As you can tell, chilled fireball, of course. Let's go. After a few more beers and a cigar and that shot, I'm feeling real good on 17, which is kind of a temporary hole. I think they're doing some changes here, so don't expect much here. I don't know exactly when you play it. It could be different, but again, you're coming to the end, and 18 is a great hole. 486 yards from the tip, straight away. Want to let it go. Um, as you can tell here, absolutely bomb this one, and I had to celebrate it with my patented stanky leg. Unbelievable form here, getting real low, <laughs> feeling good. Akavera. Didn't tear anything after that amazing stanky leg. Have some sort of iron in here. It's a little bit blurry if I'm being honest with you. Hit a really good shot. Oh, be the motherfucking one. Contrary to what I thought, not nearly as close, but hey, you know, we gave it the old college try. Rolled it up there, made a nice four. Again, it's a great finishing hole on just an unbelievable course. We could not have had a better time. I couldn't recommend this place more. And make sure you go up to the restaurants and the food hall right up the street. You get right. endless food and drinks. Just a great day. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. I got to see some behind the scenes. Like I said, there's a lot of comfort stations. There's a lot of drinking. There's a lot of fun. The course itself, though, is amazing. I mean, the tips are over 7,000. The course is in mint condition. There's been very few people when we went out there. I'm sure different times of year, it's a lot busier than others. But the course is absolutely perfect. It's so worth the money. Um, obviously, the comfort stations are great. The staff is great. Everyone in the pro shop literally did not meet one person that wasn't incredibly friendly. So I got nothing but great things to say about this golf course. And that is why I think it is 100% worth it. And honestly, Cabo is just one of the most fun spots to go. So definitely check it out. They're also building a second golf course, which I can't wait to see. I know it's going to be really tough to follow up this original Jack Nicklaus design but I have a lot of faith in that place. So if you have a chance or if you're trying to figure out where to go, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I had more fun playing here than Pebble Beach. Not that Pebble isn't incredibly iconic and filled with history and walking the same grounds as Tiger and all these other amazing players, but it's a little stuffy sometimes. When you go to this place, you are there to have fun. You are drinking. Everybody's social. Everybody's friendly. It is cheaper as well. And the course literally has some of the most picturesque moments I've ever had the chance to play. So again, 10 out of 10 in my book. If you want to learn more, I did also write a review about this place. I'm a big fan and hopefully you guys can go enjoy it as well. And just remember when you do take plenty of videos and when you have that shot on five, Kind of try and draw one in from the right center, and you never know, your drive on the signature hole might end up with an eagle putt. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you can like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss more of these epic videos. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I hope you have an epic day on the links.